Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Death Note episode 35. Last episode, I said it before and I'm going to say it again. The real MVP is Aizawa. Yeah, like, man is on fire at the moment. I think he's both our man crush at, the, at this point. Yeah, I'm loving him, man. I'm rooting for him. He's he's just been awesome. He really is carrying the legacy of those last few yeah. characters that we love. And he's actually been doing Al proud. Like, he's really... Last episode, we really got to be in his head a bit. And we got to hear, you know, the thought process of... It was almost watching... Almost like watching a second Al in a way. Like, okay, so if this means this, and that means that, and I'm going to do this test, and then it will prove this, and yeah, perfect. Yeah, agreed. And with N and Light, I feel like that's just... We're, gonna, we're sort of waiting for the chess moves to play out on the chess board. Yeah. There's a lot going on. We know a little bit about Light's plan. We know a little bit about Nier's plan. Yeah. We don't really know where Melo's at at the moment. Mm. But other than that, we're just sort of seeing him play moves and we're really waiting to just see where he's all going to go, who's going to beat who. We know Light is sort of dummying N a little bit with a fake death note. But N was also, you know, usually been one step ahead. So yeah. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that he's noticing subtle differences True. in patterns. Well, Nier did say, I can't remember, what was it about? Oh, about him bringing in Misa and Mogi. He was just like, I I trust that the significance of this move will not go unnoticed essentially by you yeah so yeah true give him the benefit of the doubt but again he that's when he's thinking about Nia not so much Aizawa and team he doesn't really think that they're on the case if that makes sense yeah he's not too worried about them just yet which he should be he should be speaking about mellow though i wouldn't be surprised if we have don't see him in the next few episodes and we just see him in the finale in the finale yeah maybe it'd be interesting but maybe i mean i feel like they have done enough for us to at least care about him and know him yeah and so if he comes in towards the end you'd sort of be like oh like like my man so yeah could work it's weird because i do want to see a little bit more of him especially with the scar on his face now like i don't know he just looks sick but that's all right i'll let i'll let them uh worry about that <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, they're gone. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is that depressing music. And we're just seeing like random civilians, so... Or the world with Kid, I guess. Yeah. This task force, man, they've been through some shit. The amount of time she's been detained is so funny. Who was that? Oh. I don't know, maybe a fan? Oh, there he is. Mello's back in the picture, all right. Just keep feeling like he knows he's being followed. Oh, uh, he's playing with his figures. What is happening? I'm not understanding. Whenever there's a montage, I'm a little bit worried. Oh shit, he's not eating his chocolate. Some serious business going on. Of course. <laughs> Poor Mogi. I think this is like the 23 days. They're just playing it out, maybe. Mm, true, true. Nier, 
It's all taken care of. I did exactly as you asked. Ryuk's just there. Waiting to see what's about to go down. What's a motto? Under a microscope? Very well, I understand. I also have a message for you. Yes, what is it? I've confirmed it. <laughs> oh, what did he confirm? That he's being followed? Something more. You got a text? Let's catch up on a date. <laughs> oh, it says she wants to see you. Man, I'm so jealous. Huh? Oh, Matsuda. Matsuda forever the bachelor. Now all I have to do is wait for Nier to request a meeting face to face. Game over, Nier. I win. I knew what is he would put in motion? The beginning. What the hell? There's been no change in Mikami's behavior otherwise. I understand. Well, then let's begin. So, oh, have they figured out Nier's identity or something? No, because they're going to meet now. Light wanted to meet and he knows Nier's going to do that. Okay, what's happening? Do you really think it's wise to reveal your face to me? That's true. I cannot show you unless I reveal my face. Furthermore, the very act of showing my face will prove something. And that will bring this case to a close. So oh. is he prepared to die? I don't know, there's more to it. The time has finally come for Nier to prove that Light is Kira. Mm. That's true. This will be a chance for Light to kill Nier. It all comes down to this. They've both got to trick up their sleeve. I want to have all the investigators from both teams be present. In other words, everyone who is chasing after Kira should be gathered together to take part in the meeting. Okay. That's fair. Daikoku Wharf. There's a warehouse on the outskirts of the southeast side that's been abandoned for some time. I wonder why this place has been chosen. There has to be a reason. If his arrangement is fine with you, then we'll use it. How about it, Light Yagami? With a location like this, you can do what you're planning to do. Well, he's setting him up a little bit as well. He's giving him every opportunity. I can promise you this. I will make no attempts to steal it. In fact, I won't even try to touch it. As long as Mr. Aizawa can confirm that it's the genuine notebook, I'm willing to place my faith in you. I love that he trusts trust Aizawa. Aizawa. I love that too. I do insist that someone other than L hold on to it. My reasons for making that request should be fairly obvious to you. Yeah, I know, hey? The question is, what time? When Mikami makes his judgments after midnight, he most likely receives a notice in the morning of which people to kill. Yeah, true, okay. Say, three days from now, on the 28th at 1 p.m.? <laughs> One o'clock, huh? That's the exact time I expected him to pick. Near as <laughs> I love it. Movements. Damn, dude. They're both right on top of his tails. One o'clock, three days from now. Sure. Okay, but then that means he's kind of playing into Light's plan, isn't it? I know exactly what your plan is. I'm going to win. Yeah, I was going to say, not exactly. They're both real to his plans. And they're both acting like they've got the step ahead. It's yeah. who actually does. Holy shit. I've already given orders to both Mikami and Takara about what to do. This will be the final order. To kill Nier. Oh, oh God. So they're going to be trying to like... Looking their binoculars or something. But I reckon Nier's thought of that already. Yeah, for sure. He knows the risks. The episode is similar to the one where L died. So, but then we've got two episodes left. So I'm like, what's going to happen in this episode? And why are they focusing on that guy? Is that the one they um, punched at the start of the episode? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, shit. Need to get inside NHN now. It was just smart. It wasn't even like. Do it. Take a look around. It's not safer here. Not even inside. 
Oh, Melo's Melo. getting involved. Get her away from here right now. Miss Takana, get on. And I think Nia has said before he always accounts for Melo's actions. And she knows she could trust Melo. Oh, this is perfect. So she's gonna be out of the picture now, and they wanted her to kill. Oh damn. Stay on that bike's tail and don't lose sight of them. As for the rest of you, I need you to find that assailant. Okay. Alrighty. That worked out perfect. Okay. I reckon Melo's on his own orders, but it's coming in handy. That's what I mean. Like, Nia, although they've gone separate paths, he always accounts for his... his behaviours. Damn it. Stop, you idiot. You can't do that. What if it ends up hitting her? What, what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> He's so good, man. I love it. Oh, Melo's a beast. Okay, thank goodness, because I did say in the start, like, I wanted to see him more. Especially that so I he knows about the meeting, and he's like, I'll take out the other variables. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Light did not account for this. Epic. You promised that we'd meet in three days' time. What's the meaning of making a move like this now? It doesn't make sense. It ain't near. It's near. Oh, shit, the music, dude. Who's in that car? Who is that? No idea, to be honest. Was he with Nia uh, Mello at the start? So those cars got ahead of me, huh? How many damn bodyguards does one woman need anyway? He definitely looks like someone that would hang out with Mello. Yeah, agreed. You got me. I'm part of this whole kidnapping incident. That means you'll have a lot of questions to ask. Oh, did you see the gun in the back of his head? Oh, damn, dude. They held... They had no chill. Oh, my God. Probably wouldn't have told us anything anyway. And death is the only way to pay for crimes against Kira. Why would you do that? Oh, crimes against Kira. So they're all sort of Kira followers. Wow. They are her bodyguard. Kyle, Kale. See how careful Mello is. No one's going to find them. Not so confident now, are you? Oh my god. Covering his face. Oh no, he's going to show her. That's how confident he is, I guess. Take off everything you're wearing and put it all in that box. Oh, make sure there's no death note anywhere, maybe. Hurry up. You can use this blanket. <laughs> Man doesn't give a shit. Isn't there any way for you to contact Mello? No, I'm afraid that would be impossible. While I do have a method of getting in touch with him, there's no way he'd respond. Well, doesn't he know what's happening though? Like. He knew because he allowed it to happen. Now he's saying sorry that it happened. Can I please have the blanket so I can wrap it around me? Whatever you want. And she'll cover the pages or whatever she's got now. Yeah, of course yeah, they were in there. In the bra. So she can rise, she can kill him technically. Damn it. I need to get in touch with Takeda. With no way of getting a hold of her, all I can do is wait. Ah, oh, okay. Really falling into the trap. Really pushing him into a corner. Oh, they're in a truck, so their whereabouts is like... You're never gonna guess it. If she can get a pen, she can write down his name. We're still not able to identify him. The police are tracking the remaining suspects. Matt, are currently good to I never thought you'd be killed. Oh. I'm sorry. Damn it, man. That's rough. Man, they've lost so much. Wow, she's really going to go write his name, but I feel like he's accounted for that. The only reason she'd be able to call me like this without getting caught is if she had an opportunity to get away from Mello. Or... Light, light, please save me. 
It's all right. Calm down. And what I'll... is happening? I don't... Where's Mello? Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Your location. Do you know where you are? No. No, I don't know where I am. What does that mean? We were on the freeway, and I caught a glimpse of a sign that said we were heading to Nagano. Right now, I think we're parked inside of a building somewhere. Uh, I feel like it's a trap. Oh, and it's a church. I did it. Yes. I didn't struggle, even when he stripped me naked. I did exactly as you said. I made survival. There's no way. And, and I did it. I feel like he would have accounted for that, though. Is he really dead? Well, I guess him accounting for it was taking all the clothes off. I have to do as many killings as possible while I still can. I, I know, but, but like Can you do it? <laughs> Even the fact that he's talking in code, everyone should be sus, no? Yeah, I know, I agree. He's destroying her, but uh, far out. <laughs> Aizawa, Ide, let's get going. Matsuda, you stay here and take care of headquarters. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what the hell is happening? No way Mello is dead! Yeah, I, ref I, I refuse to believe it at the moment. I'm in a bit, bit of denial. If Takane is calling me like this, it must mean that she's been able to kill her kidnappers. In which case, the only certainty is that she's in a situation where she can't move. Oh god. Damn, it'll take at least 30 minutes to get there. Well, hurry! This is Mello we're talking about. Who knows what he'll do? Got it. Did Melo let himself die knowing his sacrifice would sort of be... Aizawa and Ida are just too stupid. They jumped the gun and got in the front seats without even thinking. This is just too easy. There's no way. No. No, what is he doing? <laughs> Did he kill her? Tell me he killed her. What the fuck is going on? Did he control her movements? Or did she do that? I'm confused. Nah, she didn't. He did it. Oh my god, Mello's gone as well. January 26th, 2013, 2.32 p.m. Burns to death by setting fire to everything around her, including everything she wrote on. Oh my god, light is something else, dude. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, dude. That is, I am almost lost for words. Light is definitely on one. He's on one. Dude, light is... I don't know. Some of you guys in the comments like Light, man. How? He's a he's a great villain, but dude, the guy is say. ruthless. He's a good villain, but like a person, good person. Not like, even I wouldn't I wouldn't want that person for this world. No. Nah. Do you know what I mean? Nah. Look, honestly, I think Light is ruthless. He's a he's a heartless man when it comes to this point. Like, holy he crap! Literally, like he just uses people for as pawns. Everyone is just a a, a pawn or a chess piece to him. Now, I want to ask, she was the only person that he actually had feelings for. Is that true or false? Like, I I'm, think true. Yeah, I think it was true. So then the fact that even, I mean, I should be surprised. His father and sister. Yeah, like, the man has no boundaries. I don't know why I'm surprised. Wow. Look, I'm going to be honest. I'm not 100% sure on the mellow because it, one of two ways, man. He said, this is all I can do right now. So did he do it knowing he was going to die and he sacrificed himself? But I also, I mean, this show could pull a stunt like that. Yeah. But I also feel like, what if he could have been doing more? I don't know. Did he really just go to suicide? Maybe he did. Well, he didn't account that his friend would die. So that's like one thing that he didn't account for. But he, that doesn't, didn't affect his plan. He lost a friend, but he, yeah. everything went according to his plan for himself. So, okay. did he kill himself, or did he somehow, I don't know. Was Light's Death Note writing there, was that... 
just Kiyomi's name or was it Melo on there as well? No, just Kiyomi. Just Kiyomi. Okay. Well, he can't really write Melo because he doesn't know the face. Yes, correct. Okay. So Melo right. was either dead by Kiyomi or he wasn't and he escaped. Well, the other member of the FPK, the blonde one, I can't remember her name, but she said, oh, Melo. That could also be throwing us off. So roles have reversed here. Spartan is the one that's not believing in death. And yeah, I'm just not sure. It just it, it can be interpreted. I'm sort of 50 50 on this one, but because Mel has been built up so much, for him to just kill himself like that, I mean, maybe he did go that extreme, but I feel like. Well, I don't know. Like, he didn't go in and knowingly, he, like, he's going to kill himself. I think he just didn't account for pages being ripped out of the notebook. I think. I don't know. Well, either way, dude, wild episode. It just is always, it's always pretty. I don't know, confronting when you just realize how ruthless Light is, how much he's prepared to just be a stone cold killer yeah. and all of this. And His face at the end is just like too confronting almost. Like he's just so happy that evil like smile. And it's like, I don't know, you guys were saying in the comments that it's the death note corrupting him, but uh, yeah, of, yeah, okay. Like I accept that rule, right? But to a degree, yeah. Yeah, it has to be to a degree. But there's got to be accountability. That's has to be accountability. I mean, Ryuk even said he's never seen anyone use yeah. it the way Light has. So that's has to be accountability on Light's front too, that a deeper part of him really wanted to use it like this. Mm. What's interesting is I wonder how much Kiyomi knew because when Light said, remember what I said you should do, I don't imagine he would have told her that he would kill her. Surely not. No, 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 no. Because otherwise, she, but you no, know, because she was trying to get out of the van and then... Well, actually, the, yeah. So I wonder, obviously he told her a plan... She believed he would come and rescue her because she wouldn't have called said rescue yeah. me, please, if she thought it was going to result in her death. But damn, in one way, Missa actually wins this battle I because know. she still lives another day. I know. Oh my goodness. I wonder what Missa's fate will be in the end. Like, if they capture everyone he's worked with, will they take Missa as well? She's got to be accountable for her sins, right? Yeah. I don't know. It's just because technically she's innocent now, but she's not. Yeah, I don't know. I think that Missa, yeah, because my my gut feeling is like, oh, Missa, just keep her out of it now, and it's fine. But really, she has done some bad things, hasn't she? So yeah, I mean, we've got two episodes left, and it's all really come to this. I need to think about how I feel about the mellow situation. Yeah. Well, the other thing that's interesting, just thinking about it, is that at this point in the show. You don't really have like a distinct who's in front and who's behind and who's not aware and who's aware. So when Light was saying like... How stupid Aizawa yeah. was for leaving him in the back. Yeah. You don't know if that's part of their plan. Yeah. So I'm not too sure what what the goal is, but we'll have to see the next couple episodes. Yeah, because there's a part of me that wonders whether Mello making himself appear dead is also part of the plan. Like anything sort of possible at this point. I don't know. But we did see Mello put the chocolate down... And it was almost like a sad moment. So was that like his conclusion that this is all I can do? Yeah. Assist Nia to capture L. I don't know. Ah, oh, capture Light. Sorry. <sighs> it's 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 been entertaining. I feel like it's picked up towards this end beat where it was a little bit sort of slow at a certain stage. It's picking yeah. up. We're super close. I think now it's just got to see what's going to happen. Who's going to beat who? It's crunch time. We're really just seeing, I mean, we lost Kiyomi and we lost Melo potentially. So we're just, it's always blow for blow. They're trading blows. It's always, yeah. it's not really like anyone in the lead. So they've really taken it to the wire. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the episode. And if you do want to get early access to our reactions or watch them in their uncut form, We'll leave a link to our Patreon in the description down below. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you in our next reaction. See you guys.